Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Godzilla vs. Kong, King Kong action figure with Battle Axe. It's pretty cool. This is from the Monster vs. Toy Line, and uh, this is based on the new Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I believe Godzilla vs. Kong is being pushed back to next year. I think it was supposed to come out like this Christmas or November, but I think they're pushing it back to next year. I mean, I can't say for certain, but I feel like it is. I know so many movies got pushed back to next year due to COVID, and I believe Kong vs. Zilla or Zilla vs. Kong is one of those movies. But the toy lines are still slated to come out this year, just like Minions. So, um, yeah, we're still seeing the action figures, which is kind of cool because we're getting the toys early. But at the same time, it might actually hurt the movie and the toys themselves when they come out next year. Uh, but for stars, I love this new style packaging. We have Godzilla and Kong going at it back here. We got this awesome display of King Kong and Box here. We have Battle Damage Reveal written there. We got the Monsterverse logo, Kong with Battle Axe. We have Toho and Legendary written down there. This is made by Playmates Toys. On this side, you have a city being destroyed with Monster vs. Kong. And then on this side, you have another city being destroyed. On the back, you got this really cool picture of Kong and the other characters in Wave. Now, um, at my store, they did have the Kong with... Well, they didn't have the Fighter Jet Kong, but they did have the uh, Heat Ray Godzilla and the Radio Tower Godzilla and the Stroll Caller. I didn't see the Kong or Warbat, um, but I decided to pick up the Radio Tower Godzilla. I might pick up some of the other ones, the Stroll Caller and uh, the Heat Ray, but for right now, I just want to pick up these two. And yeah, I see they're the best ones out of the way and let's open this up so here we have king kong out of box and uh as you can see it looks pretty cool he's got this huge screaming head with his giant teeth here in his mouth and he is just ready for war and i like how they paint him too he's got the brown fur and the blacker on his eyes and face he also has those free scratch marks that go across his chest which is pretty cool and the fur detailing on this figure is really nice i really like it i like how they mold it they made it look like a giant furry beast and i think they did a good job with that and it's very evident like moving around him and stuff you can just kind of see where it moves over it's also got nice shading on it like I mentioned with the head so in some areas he's black some areas he's gray and dark brown so they, they have done a good job of capturing that different colors and I like that you can also see his fist it's like that again too with the different colors and I like that and then he's also got those kind of like feet hands which look kind of weird uh, but at the same time kind of cool and pretty neat and he's also pretty articulate like especially compared to the last King Kong action figure he's got a 360 the head he's got a 360 the arm swing out the shoulder bendability at the elbow and a 360 at the elbow he's got 360 at the wrist I believe and it looks like they're on a hinge of some sorts because they can move the legs forwards backwards and outwards if you move them like that they also rotate 360 and they have bendability at the knee so to be honest I'm really like how much articulation this King Kong figure has um, Playmate, uh, Playmates put out a King Kong at the start of this year from the Kong Scroll Island movie and in my opinion that Kong and this Kong pretty much look the same I mean we haven't really seen that much of promotional images but they do look very similar and they're pretty much you know the same version of Kong but um, that figure didn't have half as much as articulation I'll show them off for comparison uh, but I really like how much articulation they put on this and I want to say too, I don't feel like King Kong is a character that's like doing backflips or anything, so I don't think he needs a lot of articulation, but I really do like that they made his arms movable, because you know, this is a ver uh, movie where he's fighting Godzilla, where he needs to really get around a little bit. And since he's fighting Godzilla, you can take this and knock it off and show some battle damage. So all of these toys appear to have this little feature of battle damage, and uh, as you can see, it's red like blood, which to be honest is kind of creepy. And I wish it was kind of like more of one of those old Jurassic World panels that you could pull up and down, but I will say sometimes Sometimes those are annoying and they don't work right, they're spring-loaded, so I kind of like how they've done this. I just feel like a lot of people are going to end up losing this piece. Like, I think one day you'll probably see a lot of these King Kong figures on eBay or whatever, and they'll all be missing that little piece that goes on his shoulder. But regardless, I do like that they came up with that feature. And I will say, aside from the giant peg being non-visible, you can't really notice it. And that is one of the highlights about this feature, because it actually hides the articulation peg. And I know some people don't like articulation pegs being visible. I could care less, because, you know, it's a toy. It's going to have articulation pegs. Uh, but I do like how they kind of hit it a little bit. So if you uh, don't like them, that's cool. You also get this axe, which is probably like a new thing he's going to have in the movie. I think this is actually pretty cool. It's like this giant bone with whatever this is. I don't really know what this is, to be honest, for the axe piece. Uh, but it's very cool. And it reminds me of Stormbreaker a little bit from the MCU. 
Wine me, fellas. <laughs> um, but yeah, seriously, it's just kind of cool, and I like this. Um, I don't know if he's really going to have this in the movie or not, but I think it's a cool accessory to give Kong, and I think it's neat that they give him an accessory like this, because, you know, a lot of times we see, like, little airplanes or stuff coming with these guys, because, you know, they're supposed to be bigger than airplanes, so, like, they can destroy him, which I think is cool. But I like the idea of giving him a weapon, and I kind of hope he does have this weapon in the movie, because aside from his height, like, you know, going up against Godzilla with laser breath, there's just not a lot for Kong to do. So I like that they kind of give him a weapon here. Overall, I think this is a pretty cool action figure. I like the articulation, I like the battle features, and I also like the little axe include. And lastly, I do want to show off a comparison with the Kong Skull Island action figure that I believe came out from Playmates this year as well. And you can see some obvious differences, like the Playmates one is a little bit taller, or not Playmates, but the Skull Island one is a little bit taller, but this one has way more articulation. Um, this one only had about five points right here. The arms rotated, and the legs moved, and the head moved, and that was it. He's also a little bit browner. He's a little bit darker on this one, but maybe the reason for that is because Kong is going to be a lot older in the new movie, so maybe, like, I don't know, maybe that's why he's got more of the gray and everything, because he's older. I don't really know. I don't know if this is how he's going to look in the movie, um, but regardless, I think it's really cool. And I think they did a really good job on this action figure. Between the two of them, it's kind of hard to choose a favorite because I really liked this one when it came out, and I still really like this one. Um, but I think this one's really cool, and I think it's much of an improvement. Like I said, with the articulation, I've never felt characters like this need articulation like that. You know, they're not Spider-Man. They're not going to do a backflip. But it is still kind of cool to see he's got, like, movable arms and everything, so he can really get into a fighting and punching pose. And for a toy line that's about a character fighting another character, that's what you really want. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.